apparently they're they teased Borderlands 4 like two minutes ago. But uh I think we might have more to see. I think this is just the opening. They they just teased it real quick, like a thirty like a two second teaser. Plays Troy Marshall and Jane Harrow and unbound by normal. Let's see if Gearbox released anything on Twitter. Here we go. The Let's see what we got. So, in case if you guys haven't noticed, right, this is Lilith phase walking. Apparently, they use the same fucking. Why did they use the same from the movie? Are they. They're not crossing the movie over into the game, are they? They're... This is from the movie. This is the Fireheart Hulk from the movie. Guys. And then... And then Lilith phase walks Elpis. This is going to be Borderlands the movie, the game, isn't it? <sighs> no, this is not from the end of Borderlands 3, though. The, the sigil at the end of Borderlands 3 looks totally different. We got a good picture of it somewhere around here. All right. Let's see that. And where is this Borderlands? Yeah, see, look, see how this this is from the movie. Watch. That's from the movie. See? 
That's from the movie, bro. See? So... Are they crossing the movie over into the game? Please don't do that. I don't know though, because this doesn't that doesn't look like computer generated graphics from the game. Watch. This looks like it's from the movie. See? So we have Elphys traveling through here. Now, it looks like Elpis is traveling through, look, through like a realistic space time. What was, see, look, see? The mask is crashing into our universe, the real universe, look. See, this is real, this is not cell shaded. Look, this is, look at Elpis dragging through space-time and crossing over into another reality. Look, do you see it? Do you see it? And now it's like human torsion into our reality, it looks like. Look, that... That doesn't look like Borderlands graphics at all. See how they're trying to make the Iridian look all realistic and shit? I, I hope that this is just them, like, their version of a live action teaser trailer. Like how we got with Borderlands 2 back in the day and not just a representation of what Borderlands 3 is going to be because Borderlands 4, hopefully they haven't even gotten any graphics done on the game yet and they're like super far behind. But it said, it said that it's coming out in 2025. You're going to launch against GTA 6, Randy? Randy, you're going to launch against GTA 6. Where's my bleach? Where's my bleach? I can't even find my fucking bleach. See how this looks? All like realistic and shit? This looks more realistic than what was in fucking the movie. You can see Lilith's face in the reflection of the mask. Now, I'm not sure if they're saying that Lilith is turning into an Iridian. <laughs> no, that's not Gage. That's, that's a, that, it, at first, I thought it was Gage, right? But it's an Iridian arm. This is their best... The, I don't know why he's got a tumor on his fucking thumb. I think this is their best, like, rendering of a fucking Iridian arm. See the, see right here, see how, like, the, the muscular, the muscle tone adds up, the, the muscular definition. It's not the Watcher, though, because the Watcher is kind of orange and purple.
see you can see stuff happening in the why does it look like the Borderlands movie is happening in his eyes? Why does that look like the... Put a one in the chat if that looks like the final scene of the Borderlands movie where they're all sitting around with the fireworks. Oh my god, please do not cross this over with the movie, Gearbox. Please. Please do not cross this over with the movie. Do you see what I mean though? Watch, watch in the eyes. It looks like the reflection of the fireworks in the movie. See? Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Watch the eyes. It looks like the ending of Borderlands movie. At least it says Steam this time. <laughs> Gearbox has fucking learned! <laughs> Let's see what it's all up in here. I can. That's the spirit shard, guys. Jesus Christ. It's the fucking spirit shard. They're doubling down. On the fucking spirit shard. Well, <sighs> Gearbox, you really are the dumbest fucking. This is what was introduced in in New Tales from the Borderlands, as the spirit that's inside the magic crystal that can revive fucking anybody. That could heal anybody and, and revive. It's just... This is the worst time to reveal Borderlands 4 and they do it. The worst, absolute worst time to reveal Borderlands 4. We got something in the red here. All right, I, I don't read Iridian, but for some reason, I'm looking at this, and this is saying something destroy here. Like, looking at how an artist would kind of, like, render actual, actual humans into... Like, this says something about evil there, see? See on the right? That says something about evil. You just kind of got to... You think that said something about Atlas? That could be, like, something destroy Atlas or something. I don't know. Uh... This is awful. Put a one in the chat. If this looks like Elpis...
has come back and is dragging through reality. It looks like it's dragging through multiple realities. Look. Watch. Whatever Lilith did here, right? Phase walking Elpis away. Watch. It looks like it's dragging through our reality and cross it over with the movie. Watch. Look, because this is like, this looks like the ending of Borderlands 3 right here. This graphic. They did not, this, the, the, the Firehawk did not look like this inside the fucking, the Borderlands game. It did not like radiate like that or anything like that. It just kind of chilled in the fucking air. So, That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Lilith phase-walked Elpis and crashed this Borderlands into another Borderlands universe that's filled with movie stuff and movie references. See? See how it looks like it's cartoon here? And then it's crashing through into our reality into real. See? See how the real's behind here? It's crashing through the fictional reality into the real reality, and that's when we get this realistic looking Iridian man. See these? Like, this looks all too realistic for Borderlands. See, you got the Iridium here. And that looks more realistic than anything that was in the Borderlands movie. And then look, if you look inside, right? This thing is reflecting the end of Borderlands 3. Like the end of Borderlands 3 is happening right here in front of them. Watch. Watch the... Watch the, the thing in the background. You'll see all the... All the, the fireworks from the end of the Borderlands movie. That's what that looks like. That looks like the end scene of Borderlands the movie where they're all standing around and the fireworks are happening. See? Probably meteors or burning degree. I hope so, but I don't understand the whole point of trying to make this look as realistic as possible. There's some sort of ship here. Or alien architecture. Alright. Do you guys want me to give you my actual real... Okay, we see debris falling right here. So that's... Okay. Now I see what's happening. Okay, I see what's happening right here. This looks... if Okay, if you look, here's the ground. And then you go straight up, right? There's a hole. I'm not sure if Lilith tore a hole in the fabric of reality into this Iridian homeworld. 
or if we're seeing Lilith phase walk it back into the Iridian hold home world. And she ripped a hole through like a covering of like like something like a camouflage over their home world that you couldn't see. But if that's the truth, then why do we have realistic looking trees from Earth here? You see? Do you see what I'm saying? Why do we have a realistic looking earth type terrain here? I really feel like they're trying to cross this over with the movie, bro. See? She tore a hole in the sky. I think that's supposed to be like the fabric of reality. And Lilith crashed into our universe. And we might have a Borderlands that's half cell shaded, half realistic looking. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. But this right here. I swear I see Lilith's face in the reflection here. Like Kate Blanchett's Lilith. I swear this looks like the ending of the Borderlands 3 of the Borderlands movie recently. So two two theories right now is Lilith is crashing into the movie universe's reality right here. Because tell me that doesn't look like the end of Borderlands when they open up the vault right here. All that in the movie. Like, why does this look so realistic behind there? You know, that's a choice. That's a design choice for this to look so realistic and this world to be realistic. See? Is that not Earth? Or some sort of home world below it? Don't. Do this, Gearbox. This looks... Does this, does this right here not look like... Like the, the, the buildings from the Borderlands movie, though? Like, this all looks way too way too realistic as opposed to that see how this looks realistic as opposed to that the fire looks realistic the trees this this kind of looks like we're gonna see like, they're trying to beat Marvel to the incursion punch. Bro, I been said we need to be fighting the Iridians. I've been saying that for like five fucking years. <laughs> Like, why are we ignoring everybody's like, I'm like, yo, what about them aliens? They're like, Typhon de Leon, we need to bring him back. And I'm like, but, but why? What's the words after the mask reveal? It looked like a bunch of fucking Iridian words. It's booming into the world again, but it's not. It's not. The fucking movie just tanked and Gearbox is $130 million in the hole and they just decided to, to reveal their newest Borderlands numbered into the series right after the biggest cinematic flop in history. Do you, do you really think that we're excited for this Gearbox? Gearbox?